Well, yeah, it's pretty cool driving this up. Um, you can see all the, like going down, you can see the water and some fish and stuff, Mr. Blackbird. And then when we, once we get down there, we can see the bow of the ship and all the wood working. You can see all the different planks and stuff. It's pretty cool. And then uh, the posts that Dr. Switzer had set up were still down there. And we thought those were part of the boat, so we almost went over to those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, other than that, it's just a lot of like boiler shots. We got uh, the boiler was huge. We could like fit a person in there. What, and how do you how do you control the the sea moose? How does it uh, work? Well, we made a controller for it, and there's buttons for like forward, right, forward, left, up, down, strafe, left and right, and backwards. So it's it's pretty hard to control, but it's it's not as hard as it seems. Can you use the computer? Or? No. Well, you, you like have the controller, and then you look at the computer screen. It's kind of like playing a video game, actually. How long did it take you guys to? Six weeks. We did we did all the research all year long, and then it took six weeks. So from what we did was we had. Dr. Switzer come in and give the history of the ship we were looking for. Then we had Justin Manley from NOAA come in. He designed submarines like this that go to uh, Titanic. Okay? He came in and he gave us some ideas. Then what we did was we basically went shopping for three, four months for all the best components. And then in April we started building. So we built in six weeks. We tested it out last week and then we gave it a go. Great, great detail of woodwork. Shows you the condition of it. I mean, that's 1915. This thing went down, so and, oh, I mean, it burned too. Well, so turn right, and he's gonna fly this thing right up the middle. Of yep. It. This was unbelievable. I hope. And then he just turns this thing and drives it right up the driveway. And you'll see when it goes. Look at the floor. You see all the decking. A lot of it's still intact. And See the start the starboard side's ripped away. Right all in here's all the decks. 